So in this video, we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the Joya Lens Digital Microscope model number JL246MS. This digital microscope boasts some impressive features like a 7-inch HD display, up to 1200 times magnification, and even the ability to take high-quality photos and videos. So whether you're a student or a professional, this could be a game changer for your work or your projects. So in today's video, I'm going to unbox this device. I'll walk you through its key features, I'll test it out with some real world samples and let you know if it's worth the investment. So if you're thinking about upgrading your microscope setup or just curious about how this one stacks up, keep watching. All right, let's jump into the unboxing. The Joya Lens digital microscope comes in a sturdy, well-packaged box. So let's see what's inside and check out what you get right out of the package. As soon as we open the box, we see a few key components. First up, we've got the user manual, which is pretty straightforward and helpful if you're new to digital microscopes. It's always nice to have a clear guide for setup. So here we have some power cords, and then right there on the top is the microscope itself. And the microscope feels really solid. It has a nice weight to it. The seven inch display is already attached, which means less hassle for setup. It's got a really sleek, modern design, so it's perfect for desk use. Now let's look at the rest of the contents. So this model comes with a remote, which is nice to use when you're trying to adjust the microscope without causing a shaky image on your screen. So this model comes with three different lenses. Uh, one of them is already attached, and the other two come in this little carrying case. And the different lenses are obviously used for different types of magnification. This also comes with an adjustable stand, which is essential for getting those perfect viewing angles. And lastly, we have some sample slides to get us started. So this comes with five different slides. The first slide is a housefly, second slide, honeybee worker leg, then there's a honeybee wing, there's the epidermis of an onion, and a pine stem. All right, now that we've got everything unboxed, let's move on to setting up the microscope and going over its key features. And one thing I really appreciate is how simple and quick it is to get this microscope up and running. So first, we'll attach the microscope to the adjustable stand. The stand is solid, gives you plenty of flexibility to raise or lower the microscope to your preferred height and angle, which is great for different viewing purposes, so whether you're examining a flat sample or something 3D like electronics. So here I'm attaching the microscope to the stand and you have to remove whatever lens you have on it first to get it to slide into the stand and then you'll place the lens back on. The lens is secured to the microscope with just two little screws on both sides. So I have to remove those first. So once the screws are removed, to remove the lens, you just slide it right out. And so now that I have the lens off, I can mount the microscope to its stand. And so now that the microscope is attached to the stand, you can reinstall the lens. So here we can see the adjustable stand, and as you can see, it's really easy to move around, and it stays securely in place once you've adjusted it. Next, I'm attaching the USB power cable to the power brick. The power cord then plugs into the back of the microscope. The power cord also plugs into the base to control the LED lights. Once it's plugged in, you'll just hold down the power button to turn it on. One thing I really like is the digital zoom. And you'll see that the zoom works really well and everything stays clear and focused even at higher magnification levels. Next up is the built-in LED illumination. So there are two adjustable LED lights that you can easily control using the dimmer switch. And this allows you to get the perfect lighting whether you're in a dim room or you need to highlight a specific part of your sample. Having full control over the lighting makes a big difference when you're trying to capture fine details. The microscope also has a built-in camera, which lets you capture both photos and videos directly from the device. To take a picture, you'll simply press the capture button on the screen or on the remote control. To take a video, you press the start recording button on the display or on the remote. And the quality is pretty impressive, especially for a microscope in this price range. You can easily save your files to an SD memory card and transfer them to your computer for editing or sharing and you can just store a ton of photos and videos without having to transfer constantly. The adjustable stand is another highlight. You can raise or lower the microscope to fit whatever you're working on. And this flexibility is especially useful for larger objects like circuit boards or even small mechanical parts. The user interface is really intuitive. 
You can quickly adjust your zoom and even control the settings for capturing photos and videos from the screen. It's designed to be user-friendly, so whether you're a beginner or experienced with microscopes. Overall, setting up the microscope is straightforward, and the features make it super versatile for a variety of uses, from education to hobby work or even professional applications. Now that we've gone over the setup and key features, let's dive into what really matters, the performance. And we'll start with the biological slide. I'm using a sample of a honeybee's wing, which is great for testing the microscope's ability to capture intricate details. As you can see, the overall structure is clear, and the 7-inch display really helps show off those details. The image is crisp, and there's no noticeable distortion. So I'll go ahead and use the zoom function. The zoom control is smooth, and I love that the microscope maintains focus, even as we increase the magnification. So this is an actual recording that I took on the microscope. And here I am using the zoom function again. Next, let's test the microscope with something a bit different, an electronic circuit board. This will help us see how well it performs with more three-dimensional objects, which is ideal for anyone working in electronics or repair. And for this, I'm going to use Lens L. It has a working distance of 90 millimeters to 300 millimeters, magnification of 60 to 240 times. And so this is the lens you would use for any type of electronics repair or watch repair. So you can already see the finer details of the circuit board, like the individual solder points and components. And now I'm going to zoom in and check out some specific areas. And at this magnification, you can see the fine details in the soldering and the tiny connections between the different components. And this microscope does a fantastic job of picking up tiny details that are hard to see with the naked eye, making it a great tool for anyone doing intricate electronics work. And for a more everyday use, let's take a look at this coin. So this will demonstrate how well the microscope handles reflective surfaces and metallic textures, which is great for coin collectors or anyone analyzing small objects. And even at the lower magnifications, you can see the overall texture of the coin and the lighting adjustment helps reduce any glare from the metal surface. And so now I'll go over the camera again. So capturing an image is as simple as pressing the capture button right on the display. And of course you can record video as well. So just press the start recording button that's on the display. And this is super handy if you want to document a moving process or explain what you're seeing in real time. And once you're done, you can easily transfer your photos or videos to your computer via the SD card, making it super convenient for editing or sharing. So after testing a variety of samples, I'm really impressed with the performance of this microscope. So whether it's biological samples, electronics, coins, or just everyday objects, the microscope consistently delivers high-quality images with plenty of detail. So whether you're a student, hobbyist, or professional, I think this microscope has the versatility and power to meet a wide range of needs. So now that we've gone through the unboxing setup and features and tested the microscope with a variety of samples, let's wrap up with a quick breakdown of the pros and cons. And so the first pro would be the high magnification range. With a wide range of magnification, this microscope gives you incredible flexibility to view objects with great clarity at both low and high magnifications. So whether you're working with biological samples, electronics, or small objects like coins, you get the detail that you need. And so the next pro would be the 7-inch HD display. It's large, bright, and offers a clear view of what you're examining without the need for external screens or additional devices. And this is especially helpful for long periods of use as it reduces eye strain. Another pro is the adjustable LED lighting. And this is a great feature. It gives you full control over the brightness, making sure you always have the right amount of light to view your samples clearly, even in dim environments or when examining reflective objects like coins or metal parts. And one of the biggest pros is the microscope's ability to hook to a TV via HDMI cable. And this feature will be very useful in projecting your images to a large audience. And the next pro would be the photo and video capture. So the built-in camera allows you to easily capture high quality images and record videos directly from the microscope. So whether you're documenting your findings for research or sharing with colleagues or keeping a record of your work, it's a convenient feature that adds a lot of value. And a final pro would be the easy setup and intuitive controls. And setup is quick and painless and the controls are super intuitive. So whether you're adjusting the zoom, focusing, or switching between different modes, everything is straightforward and easy to use even if you're new to digital microscopes. So really the only con I have is that there's no battery option. 
So one downside is that the microscope needs to be plugged in at all times. So there's no built-in battery, so you'll need to have access to a power source whenever you want to use it. And this limits the portability and could be a drawback for those who need a more mobile solution. And so overall, the Joya Lens Digital Microscope offers a lot of great features at an affordable price point. With its impressive magnification range, large display, and ability to capture photos and videos, it's a versatile tool for students or hobbyists or even some professionals. So if you're looking for a reliable and easy to use digital microscope with great image quality and flexibility, the Joya Lens JL246MS is definitely worth considering. So let me know what you think in the comments below. You know, have you tried it or do you have another microscope that you would recommend? And I would definitely recommend this microscope, especially if you're looking for a microscope that balances affordability with performance. For the price, you're really getting a lot of value. Great magnification, a large HD display, built-in photo and video capture, and adjustable lighting. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos.